and I'll give you a short definition of a grotto is a small shallow cave. Take a look behind here. This is the ending of a lava tube. The ending of a lava tube. You take a look along the, the walls here, you see those long spiky looking ferns? Can you guys see those? Those water coming over? That belongs to a broken down restroom. <laughs> It's still beautiful. 
Is it brown? No, it's clear. No, that belongs to a natural spring. Goes about a mile over the top, just bubbles out the ground all year round, non-stop. Now you guys probably walk up this pathway and see some of these red flowers, some pink flowers. These are what we call avapuhi. Can you guys see that? This is ginger. Yes, there's over 47 different types of ginger, and we have quite a few of them here in the park. Now, we used to take everyone inside the cave. Anyone here been inside? What? Wow. All right, so we used to do And what that did here was loosen the landscape all around this area. And when it flooded, this park flooded really, really bad. We had mudslides. Five feet of mud covered the pathway you guys just walked up on. The docking area, all underwater. You couldn't even tell, you could dock there. The big boulders, the size of compact car boulders came falling over trees and all kinds of things. So they shut the park down for a whole year. Yeah, that's how bad it was. It took them that long to clean up all the mess that was in the park. And they reopened it back up in 2007. It was just too dangerous to take anybody back under or near the lip of the cave. So this is as far as anybody's gotten to go since 2006. Now this cave has an ancient name called Mama Akua Lolo. Lolo is one of the four major gods that our Hawaiian ancestors would worship. He was a god of harvest and agriculture and fertility. So what our Hawaiian people used to do that used to live and farm on the riverbanks here, was take a portion of their harvest, lay it inside the cave as an offering unto Lolo, in the hopes of an increase in the next harvest season. But since Christianity was introduced to Hawaii, they did away with those types of ceremonies, consider them to be pagan. Now the only ceremonies we have here are human sacrificing. <laughs> I believe you call them weddings. What's the name? four years old. He's in preschool. We're going to be going to kindergarten next year. Right. Married right there in the white little fern grotto in 1940, 1962. And since their wedding, we've had over 12,000 weddings happen here and counting. Any married couples in the house? Right. Any happily married couples in the house? <laughs> Oh, 38 years, congratulations, right there. 32, congratulations. 49, congratulations. 40, right here. 25, right there. 33. 33 over here. 50, right here, congratulations. You're in the back. 53. Congratulations. 53. 53 also. Congratulations. 40 right over here. That's about a hand for our anniversary couples. Good job.
song is for the little, if not the last, Hawaiian fishing village in the state of Hawaii. This one's for Minoli and his people. Make aloha kumihana, barayis. Oh, uh-huh. 